Voice first adoption will take time. The big boys, Amazon, Google, Apple, Microsoft, they're involved in a game which is all around changing user behavior on a global level. People have such a natural instinct now to pick this up and to thumb through all that friction that we know about, but for people who aren't aware of it, it's not friction for them, it's just what they do. Pick up your phone, unlock it, and go and do about, go about your business. To change that behavior, to have people not do that behavior and to start thinking about using their voice first before unlocking that phone, whether it's smart speakers, whether it's using it on your mobile, wherever it is, to have people naturally do that first is going to take time. Google might have sold a load of uh, home devices. Amazon might have sold over 40 million Echo devices, but still people are using it to play music, people are using it to ask random questions to and to set timers. The challenge is a very, very big challenge, and I don't know whether anybody's talking about this challenge at the moment. You know, there's a lot of people out there that say that it's not early days uh, for voice first. It may, might not be early days in terms of the technology. The technology may well be developed enough for it to be able to ha hold a conversation with people, but it's early days certainly in terms of user behavior. Behavior. Just because you're selling smart speakers doesn't mean people are using them for what they can be used for in terms of the potential that they have. Just because you have Siri doesn't mean that it's being used to its full potential. Google have assistant on, what is it, 400 million Android devices? Absolutely staggering, but just the mere fact of having it doesn't actually make it any more worthy of boasting than not having it if no one's using it. If you think about the, the kind of behavior that we need to change, we didn't, we didn't wake up in uh, September 2007 when the first iPhone was announced and all of a sudden start checking our phone 300 times a day and spending four and a half hours on Candy Crush. And that didn't happen overnight. It's been over 10 years worth of constant development, constant uh, improvements, and slowly but surely changing user behavior. Now people have this itch where they can't help themselves but check the phone every 10 minutes. And the fact that that itch exists, the fact that people are now habitually reaching into their pocket to pull the phone out, is a barrier for voice first adoption. So how do we prevent people, prevent's not the right word, how do we encourage people to onboard the voice first environment and start using their voice as an interface when the behavior of picking your phone up and unlocking it is so ingrained and it happens hundreds of times a day. Behavior change on a local level is hard enough. I've spent time working in government at a local level where people, as soon as anything goes wrong, think first to phone the organization or just phone these, phone that. So the behavior that lots of people have in certain areas, rather than use your website, it's phone. To change that behavior and stop people phoning and encouraging them to serve themselves online is actually a long game. It's not something that you can do by sticking a poster up in your office and just letting it play. If you build it, they won't necessarily come. It's constant nudging, constant cajoling, constant selling to try and get people to try it. Prove that when, you, when they do try it, prove it works, prove it can, it's better than any other channel, and then deliver when they follow up. Every single interaction has to deliver. Every single time matters. So it's, it's years worth of constant effort to change people's behavior at a local level to get them to stop phoning and stop coming into your restaurant to book a table when you've got other stuff to do and to get them to use the online channel. It's years of effort. And we're in the very same situation when it comes to voice. People will not just start using their smart speakers and start using their virtual assistants overnight. It'll take constant effort, constant cajoling, constant selling, and most importantly, constant delivery. Whenever somebody uses your skill, whenever somebody uses your action, whenever somebody tries to find something on here with their voice, you have to deliver. You have to have the experience work. It has to be pleasant. It has to be something that is completely painless and it needs to be constant. If you're building skills for Alexa, actions for Google, if you're trying to get your brand's presence on uh, voice in terms of voice search uh, and being the number one entry and the number one thing that appears when somebody asks about a certain topic or a certain brand, 
Don't be put down if you don't have the users straight away. You will need to promote, you will need to constantly badger people to give it a try, and you'll need to deliver exceptionally every single time for the next three years. It's not gonna happen overnight. That's not what the headlines will tell you, and that's not how all of these things are being sold. And it's not early days in terms of the technology, but it's early days in terms of user behavior, and people take time to change fundamentally ingrained habits.